Hello, we're in Malta, we're in Nashar. Nashar is spelled N-A-X-X-A-R. It's a town, Malta. Do you have a It has the Palazzo. Take it, Rocco. Maurizio. This is Santa Lucia Street. There is Kibera, which is Main Street. There is the avenue, there are the other streets. I don't know the names. So I live in Nashar, and um, if you come to Malta as a tourist, you will have one agenda, and you will have a certain, you will receive a certain Malta. If you live in Malta, I live in Malta, you will receive a certain Malta. A simplistic. I live in Malta, I live in Nashar. I am very, res very respectful respectful to the local people. It's not because I have to be, or I'm made to be, because I, I, I would like to be. And the local people can tell if you're faking it, or if you mean it. I hope that the local people here know when I'm being respectful, I mean it. When I transgress, have something to drink, get a bit blobby, they forgive me. I've made more friends in this town in three years, in 20 years in England. And um, the place has got so many beautiful restaurants. You have Otto, which is a bar of two Spanish clubs. You have Maria Regina. You have Palazzo. You have Onella, the Labour Club, the Spa Hotel, Malobio, Tribal. There's, there's so many, there's so many. Yet, after the winding and dining stops, 10 or 11, it's, it's, it's sleepy, sleepy. It's a lovely place to live. And it's parking on the street. There are all the things you need. The Englishman, HSBC, Marks and Spencer, Holland and Barrett, a post office. It's peculiar. I can go and get sandwiches from Marks and Spencer. And the Marks and Spencer here is the smallest Marks and Spencer that you'll ever find. And I, I love living here and I, and I am respectful to local people because I live in their country and they, are, they have been welcoming, they are welcoming. And it's a lovely place to live. It's 40 degrees today, it's been a fantastic day. You can buy a, you can buy a spirit or a glass of wine, two euros. If I go down to the coast, the Hilton Western Slima, you can pay 10 euros for a spirit and the density of the people swells. I, I was at Baraka Gardens today and it is like a football match. I like Upper Baraka. I've been there, been going there for 50 years. When I went today, I don't want to go again. I do not want to scrum. I want to go when there's no one there. There were, there were the bus to Churchill and all the other people matter and the view is spectacular. So the message really of the video is when it comes to Mal Malta, respect the Maltese people. Don't fake it. They know if you they know if you're faking it. If you don't like Malta, bloody well go somewhere else.